Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. We are doing another holiday countdown video, of course. In today's video, we have got a super simple beginner friendly tumbler design for you. We're gonna use one glitter. I know, that's crazy, right? We're gonna use some vinyl from Banff, a peachy olive decal, and we'll be done. So this is super easy if you are a beginner or if you just need to pump out a Christmas or really any design quickly. This is a great technique for you, and I think it comes out really, really cute. Of course, everything I'm using in the video will be listed down below in the description box. You can also find a bunch of important information down there, like my website link, my exclusive mentorship links, my social media, discount codes, all of that stuff is down in the description box. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you're also subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. And of course, I always love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you like it. Let's go. All right, we're starting with a 20 ounce traditional tumbler that I have sanded down really well to prep it. We're gonna start by base painting the cup with Wedgwood green acrylic paint. And the glitter we're using is Plant Lady, which is a custom mix by my friend Rachel at Mitten Made Craft. It's a really pretty, kind of like sagey green color. So I'm gonna do a really solid coat of this paint. And as always, you guys, I'm using way more paint than necessary. I don't know, this is like my toxic trait, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna do a really good coat of this paint and I'm gonna let it sit and dry for about an hour. Once the paint is totally dry, I'm gonna go in with the epoxy method to apply my glitter. You can use any adhesive method that you prefer, it doesn't matter. Usually with chunkier glitters, I like to use the epoxy method because I feel like the glitter just kind of soaks into the epoxy just a little bit and it helps the glitter lay flat and makes the entire process down the road a little bit easier. Now I am using of course my Artist Cure Epoxy from Flynn Sisters Supply Shop and this thin layer of epoxy was about maybe two to three milliliters. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cover the entire cup with Plant Lady by itself, only one glitter color, can you guys believe it? <laughs> so once it's covered, I'm gonna roll my cup in my glitter pile here just to get everything to lay flat, make sure everything is well covered. Let that sit and dry overnight. And once it's totally dry, I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue and water mixture so that we can seal the glitter, which will again, make the process down the road easier. Sealing your glitter, even if it's just one color, is going to help with your epoxy layers later. So once that was dry, I waited two hours. I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. Each coat was 20 milliliters. And for those coats, I'm using my Fast Cure Epoxy from Flint Sister Supply Shop. So in between coats, I waited, because it's cold outside, I waited longer. I think I waited about six to eight hours. So after those two coats, our cup is pretty smooth, but if you need to, you can do a round of sanding and then add another coat of epoxy on top before you go in with this step. We are using semi-transparent vinyl and a clear decal, so you'll want a completely smooth and shiny surface before you go on to this step. So we're gonna start first with our decal. This super cute Tis the Season decal is from Peachy Olive Glitters. So I'm going to apply that right in the middle of our tumbler. I'm cutting away about half of the backing and I'm gonna use that to help me place the decal on the cup. So I'm gonna put that first half down first and then I'm gonna smooth the rest of the decal onto the tumbler just as you can see there. And now that we have the decal in place, we can go in with our semi-transparent trees vinyl. Now, if you are using a straight tumbler, you can just apply this like a regular, normal vinyl wrap. Just wrap the whole sheet around your tumbler. But because I'm using a traditional shaped tumbler that has a little bit of a taper and kind of a curve to it, I'm going to cut these trees out individually one by one and just place them by hand, just like any other decal. Now, if you don't wanna buy semi-transparent vinyl, you can print out your own elements and do like a print and cut if you want. If you wanted to use water slide over a light base, you can do that as well. Do whatever technique you're comfortable with. I got this vinyl at TumblrCon and I was so excited about it. So that's what I'm using, but feel free of course to use whatever you like. So I'm just gonna go around as you can see and I'm gonna place these trees all over the tumbler, filling in as much space as I possibly can. And once I've got these on, we are pretty much done. I'm gonna add my final two coats of epoxy and this cup will be all finished. So here is the final result. Super, super simple, super beginner friendly. If you are looking to get some Christmas designs out quickly, or if you just want something really easy that you can work on without any pressure, this is perfect for you. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, of course, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I will see you again tomorrow for another holiday countdown video. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Holiday countdown video. What is this? Do 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 do.